Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the War Thunder Plane Review series with Voyager. Today I want to take a look at the British Mustang MK1A, which is the same plane as the American Mustang with the 20mm ca cannons. They both sit at 3.7. The American plane can be researched, the British plane is a premium plane. Although it does have an American airframe, this earlier version of the Mustang does provide four 20mm Hispano MK2 cannons, so British, and also a British engine. So how does it perform in battle? Before we look at that, I want to take a look at uh, the general flight characteristics and the shells of this plane. Okay, we're taking a look at the turn times and the general maneuverability of the plane. We are starting at 2000 meters at 300 kilometers per hour and as you can see the plane is turning rather slowly. It takes the plane without combat flaps a total of 21.2 seconds to get around a 360 degree turn. And if you do the same thing with Comet Flaps, it's not much better and it loses a lot more speed. Instead of 280 km per hour at the end, it is only at 250 km per hour. This thing is definitely not a turn fighter, although you can turn if you get to higher speeds. The wings of the Mustang require speeds to turn. That's why we only turn a little bit faster with Comet Flaps. Now we try out the dive capabilities. How, how good, how does it lock up? Does it lock up when diving? So we roll the plane and compare the roll rate from lower to higher speeds and we see that it actually gets better at higher speeds. So this plane is definitely quite good at diving. Let's see how it retains energy if it zoom climbs up. And you see that we started at 2000 meters and the Mustang actually gets up to 1600 meters again to the same speed. And I didn't even use web. If you use web, you get even higher. This plane is not a turn fighter, it's an energy fighter. Okay, now we are looking at the Mustang in the hangar. And uh, what we see is it is the one with the British Hispanos and also with the British engine. It does have the engine of the Spitfire Mark V which is made for low altitude fighting. That's why also the Mustang MK1A apart from the Mustang D series is only good at low altitudes. You have to keep lower than 4000 meters or your engine power will drastically cut down. But at lower altitudes it's a really good fighter. You have a really good speed. It's faster than most of the opponents. Maybe not the Germans, but it also does have a really good energy retention. The turn rate and the maneuverability is really not that good. But your guns are. Those four 20mm cannons rip apart everything, especially if you have air targets equipped. The default runs are okay. You have two out of four shells that are really good, the heavy shells. And um, stealth is also quite good, but why should you use stealth? Maybe because you want that one AP shell for bombers, but the Quite newly added air targets are just amazing, especially because I like to shoot stealth rounds. Those are already stealth. You don't have any traces in those. Those are just heavy and heavy sappy, absolutely wrecking everything. If you converge, I mean, those guns are wing mounted, so you can't snipe far range. But if you set your convergence to a distance where you normally shoot at enemy planes, this plane is amazing. Okay, we are back at the battle from before. We are 
facing the Japanese planes, so we definitely can't outturn them. But what we can do is outspeed them. So what you have to do, or what you should do with a Mustang, is boom and zoom them. Get quick, fire from above, and if they turn, just run away. Go up for altitude again and do the same thing over. If you are going into a turn fight with them, it's your fault, you will die. <laughs> and uh, also if you if you have somebody in your gun sight and shoot, those guns will rip apart the enemy as nothing else. Those four Espanum angba 2s are just amazing, especially with air target rounds. And also you have 500 rounds of ammunition, which is also pretty decent. So you don't have to be too conservative with your ammunition. As uh, for the Mustang being a premium, I thought about what premium plane do I want for the British. I, I wanted to design between the Typhoon and the Mustang. They do have the same weaponry and I both uh, I test fl uh, flew them both, but I don't know. The Typhoon rolls really slowly and uh, I looked into a little bit of War Thunder, Vicky and so on and I decided to get the Mustang. They both give the same amount of line bonus and the Mustang even gets you more research points. I haven't flown the Typhoon though, I don't own it, so maybe it is a better plane, I'm not sure. But I'm really, I really like the Mustang, if you use it correctly. I mean, I don't know if that is the correct way. Maybe climbing, side climbing and so on might be better, but um, you have to climb for a really long time, because the engine power cuts down really, really quickly from 3500 meters on, so what I like to do is just go to 3500 meter or 3000 and then look what is happening. If the enemy is above me, I try to drag them down and wait until they are below me. But fortunately in this match we see the Japanese, which are completely on the ground. The whole team was chasing after one bomber of our team and now they are down low and easy targets for us. There's still one J2M2, which is why I was turning. I'm waiting for him to get on low or uh, just to find out what he is doing. But we see that uh, the whole enemy team is now on ground level, so I can engage this J2M. He is a little desperate here. What he should do is turn because I can't follow him in the, in the turn. What he is actually doing is he's trying to run away into his uh, enemy team to protect him, but he can run away. I am way faster than him and I get really good shots on him and he's going down into the water. Now I'm really quick, look back and see nobody's following me, so I can just zoom up again and... <laughs> well hopefully not get shot by those carriers, which are no carriers, but never mind. And now I see there's a whole steam train of Japanese planes following a few of my teammates. So what I do is I gain a little multitude so nobody will be able to zoom up to me and I wait until they pass me. Because this is the best opportunity to just get a whole lot of kills. I dive and I try to get behind them and pick them off one by one and see what is happening. I actually got a teammate doing the same so I don't get all four planes but yeah, there goes the first one for my teammate and they are all just completely, they, they don't see us coming, they are completely on this one target, completely tunnel visioned, so there goes the second one. <laughs> Three kills already. And uh, from this point on, the game is won. They can't do anything anymore. The one thing I didn't notice is I don't have too many cannon rounds anymore. I, I uh, wasted a little 
rid of my shots, but still, I mean, four kills with um, the Mustang is is really awesome. There's the second to last guy. I tried to help my teammate here. I turned around and was going for him, and I already saw my ace. I already saw my five kill game, and I didn't even take a look at my ammo counts. So, yeah, this was this was not going to happen. So, yeah, I was really confident here. I thought, come on, this is the perfect opportunity, and bam, out of ammunition. Yeah. So I was, I wanted to go back to base and um, just rearm, but. It wasn't necessary because my teammate already finished him off. That was one quick match. And that is how Japanese lose. Normally Japanese teams are really good and the American teams are the ones that are, well, lacking. <laughs> but this time it was a win for the Americans. So GG. I want to take a look at the ratings of the Mustang now. Okay, let's first take a look at the survivability of the Mustang MK1A. The Mustang is quite quick, so it can evade most of the enemies that try to chase it down. You can evade too well with maneuvers like turns and split S, but um, I'm still giving it a 7 out of 10. Agility-wise, again, the speed is good, but it doesn't turn too well. And um, also the roll rate, it, it's okay, but sometimes it tends to lock up at 90 degrees and it doesn't want to roll further, so I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. The armament is amazing. Those four 20mm are just absolutely amazing. I would give the armament a 10 out of 10. But because they are wing mounted, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. The fun factor of the plane, uh, although it is a lot of fun, it is kind of hard sometimes to play and kind of annoying to, because it doesn't do what you want it to do. So I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. As a total rating, I'm giving the Mustang a 7 out of 10. So should you buy this plane? Should you Ryan for it in the American tree, definitely. In RB it's a really good plane, but in if you play arcade sometimes, this plane is one of the best arcade planes of them all. So yeah, get it. That's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed and uh, bis zum nächsten Mal. Here I encounter the last tank of this match, and this time I hit the ammo, and he explodes. So the match is over.